Yo, the trailer's finally out. Spider-Man No Way Home, first official teaser trailer. Let's check it out. Man, the tone of this is not... Oh shit! Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Hello, Peter. Damn, that was fucking smooth as fuck. Yo, Willem Dafoe is gonna be back. And. Whatchamacallit, bro, but where the hell are all the MCU villains, though? And, uh, Jamie Foxx Electro. I don't think Craven the Hunter's gonna be in this movie. I really was hoping he would be, but I don't think that's what they're going for. I really do think it's gonna be all existing villains that we've seen before. And I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm excited for the movie, but the tone of this was really weird. And not what I was expecting at all, especially for the first trailer, like... I'm, I'm honestly a little bit surprised at how involved Strange is. But man, that actually was a teaser though, we don't really know anything. Still... But I, I had an idea... I didn't think it would happen, but I thought maybe it would be the one more day or whatever it's called storyline um, where Peter asks Mephisto for everybody to get rid of their memory of him being Spider-Man because in the original comics that happens after he reveals himself during the Civil War event and obviously we got Civil War, he didn't do that reveal there. But then in Far From Home at the end of that, Mysterio revealed it for him. So now everybody knows. So I had the idea that maybe he would um, try to do a spell or something, uh, make a deal where everybody will forget. But it looks like Strange is the one that is filling that uh, role. Mephisto might be involved somehow. Like maybe, I don't know, the magic that Strange does is tied to him. 
who knows but it seems like what's causing the whole multiverse to to come through is that peter messed the spell up and that's why it didn't go as planned so that's kind of interesting in itself but i don't know why strange would even do it though like that seems like a huge spell to do and obviously peter's a kid so he's not gonna be reasonable in what he wants but i don't know like i'm really curious to see strange's uh thoughts or reasoning behind that choice but um honestly i'm just happy that uh green goblin's coming back i care more about him than dr octopus because green goblin's actually my favorite villain in any spider-man movie uh dr octopus was all right but he's not one of my favorites but it's weird that they didn't show any mcu villains like that's kind of weird to me i thought they would have shown somebody there's got to be at least one in here like I thought uh, Vulture would come back, Michael Keaton, uh, Adrian Toomes, and uh, Mysterio, I thought he would play some role, but they didn't really show him or anything related to him at all. They just mentioned him about what happened at the end of the first one. So I don't know, but the trailer kind of revealed most of the stuff that we already knew. Uh, the one that I wasn't 100% sure about was Green Goblin. So I guess that was a cool reveal for me. But, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to watch the trailer again on camera, but I will obviously be checking it out over and over again. But I think that's all I have to say for now. So thank you for watching my video. I'll catch you next time. Peace.